it, March Madness. Hashtag Mercer Madness is now taking over the internet as the Bears upset the Duke Blue Devils and will advance to the round of 32. Hello and welcome inside our Campus Insider Studios. I'm Shay Pepler and joining me now to discuss the game that busted many brackets is ACC Digital Network's college basketball analyst J.R. Reed and J.R. Rodney Hood and Jabari Parker combined to shoot only 6 of 24. Hood finished the game with only 6 points before fouling out. They struggled defensively down the stretch. What happened to the Blue Devils in this game? Well, you couple what you said about the struggles offensively along with the ability of not being able to stop a Mercer team that was very prepared. I listened to the coach speak about how he was ready and gave them an offense and a defensive scheme to go against the way that Duke plays their game. So I, I heard this this morning. I didn't think it was going to be able to happen, but he did come out and do that. Those guards penetrated so well, getting to the rim, creating shots for each other, and most importantly, shooting a high percentage against a Duke team that's known for defense. I don't think you were the only one that was surprised. This is now Duke's second one and done in three years. What has been the main cause behind the struggles for Coach K and Duke over the past couple of years now? Well, I think it's not just a Duke problem. I think this is a problem nationally. And what I see is teams that have a lot of seniors and juniors on are going to do well in the NCAA tournament. Teams with players that have been there before and understand the grind of the latter part of the season tend to do well in harsh environments. They've seen it. This is not their first rodeo. And I, I, again, I don't think this is just a Coach K problem, but Coach K would, usually has more guys to take a leadership role. And I don't th I think leadership was a problem in this Duke team. Well, let's talk about one of those young guys. Jabari Parker's future now in question, as he was quoted as saying, this early exit could really affect his decision to enter the draft or not. What's your initial thoughts on Parker staying in Durham? Well, we all know Jabari is a great young man, and I'm sure he loves a college life. But speaking only about professional basketball, there is no upside in him coming back. I see if you come back to college, they pick your game apart, which eventually hurts your status in the draft. Jabari has come in, and I've seen him struggle, and I think this is what GMs like most about him. Early on in the season, when he was struggling and settling for three-point shots, he got in the gym with Coach Capel. They worked on his game. He came back and was a more assertive player. He didn't let teams off the hook by shooting the fadeaway three-point shot. He was getting to the basket, making plays for himself and his, his teammates as well. And I think these are the attributes that are going to make him a great pro because I don't believe he's coming back. He's just as good as advertised. All right, let's open this up now, JR, and talk about the ACC. And Virginia Tech looks like Marquette's Buzz Williams will fill the coaching vacancy for the Hokies. JR, how does he fit in in Blacksburg? Well, I, I think he's a great fit. You know, it comes as a bit of surprise. You know, I was hearing that, you know, he may wait. And, and for a school a little closer to home in the southern roots down near Texas. But he got a great opportunity here at Virginia Tech, and I think this is a terrific hire for them. Buzz is going to bring in a great bunch of energy, effort, and enthusiasm. And this is what he's going to expect of his team and the players that he brings in there. Kudos to Virginia Tech on a great hire. Yeah, Coach Williams took the Golden Eagles to the dance five of the last six years. ACCDN College Hoops Analyst J.R. Reed, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, guys. And for more on the NCAA tournament, be sure to keep it locked on Campus Insiders as we preview who's got next. Thanks so much for watching.